Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And on this week's roundtable, it's been a while. We've got almost all the usual suspects. We've got a technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, how are you? I'm good. I'm happy to be back and see all you guys again. We're, we're missing a couple today, but um, we'll do what we can without them. Yeah, and because of COVID, we're, it was happening day to day um i don't know scott's not probably gonna put his hat back on but uh that's okay we'll haze him about it later dude buddy the nightcap og scott bossman how are you i'm doing great mark it's good to see you again good to be back good to see everybody yeah absolutely i love it when you call me big papa tate litchfield tate how are you oh so good man so good Life is good, man. Can't complain. Absolutely. By the way, you know it would be great? To look over your shoulder, see how you work. If you guys haven't checked it out, go to thelandgeek.com forward slash lots. Look over Tate's shoulder and watch how he works. And of course, the brain, the Sherpa, your, your, the, the professor, Scott Todd from scotttodd.net, landmoto.com. Learn anything Mark. about anything, InvestorNinjas.com. Scott Todd, how are you? I'm good, Mark. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, did my audio go out? No, no, you're good. Oh, okay. Um, this week's topic is the month of July. I took the entire month off. Eric Peterson took two weeks off. Um, Scott Bossman, how much time did you take off? Uh, I would say about six days we were, we were gone. Six days, Tate Litchfield. I don't even know if you still work anymore. But how many th- how many days did you officially take off? Uh, uh probably at least ten. Like ten days. At least ten. Probably closer to two weeks. Scott Todd, how about you? Zero days, brother. Zero <laughs> days. I'm the only one ducking around here. Scott never works, anyways. You got to remember, I mean, Scott. Scott's like the what the the ten minutes a day kind of work week. That's his yeah. schedule. Scott works it's, as no, much it, it, in a year as we work in a week. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's that, that's, another July, yeah. man. Like it, it is hard to decipher like from a given day, like, is it a weekend or is it a work day? Right. Like, I don't know. It's the same to me. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, it's, it's beyond first world problems. Like I don't I, like Scott Todd, like in Tampa, how could you have any friends? Like they're all working. And like, you're like, dude, I'm going to go eat a donut and fly a plane today. What are you doing? He's got me. Oh, that's true. I mean, you know, look, uh, eat a donut. That's a good thing to do. Yeah. And uh, have fun. What's it's wrong good. With that? Yeah. All right. So, so how did, we'll start with you, Eric. How did your business um, do while you were away? Um, you know, I've been at this business for, for quite a few years now. And um, I think this was probably the first time we go away every summer for a couple of weeks. And, and this was probably the first time where we went away where I really didn't feel like I had to check in. Now I still did, you know, I, I can't just let it go, but, um, but things ran without me. We sold um, four properties, I think, while I was away. Um, we acquired, um, a handful of properties at least while I was away and things ran smoothly. I came back, another property sold. I mean, things went very well while I was away. I I felt really good about my people and, um, you know, the processes we have in place. How, how's business going in, in the midst of COVID? for you right now? You know, I think most of us in the land investing space are, are seeing generally some of the best numbers ever in terms of sales. Um, and I can, I can say the same for us. I mean, we had an excellent last quarter um, and land continues to sell very well. Um, I think if, if there were one thing to kind of pick on for, for the times right now and, and what's troubling or, or more of a challenge in our business, I think it's the acquisition of land right now. People, it seems, 
are wanting to hold on to their land um, instead of selling it right now. Um, but not to say we can't find deals. They're just not as frequent. Yeah, this, is, this has been the complete opposite of what I expected when this whole thing began. And we saw this, you know, massive unemployment numbers. Um, we saw the stock market tank. I thought, oh man, it's just, just a matter of time. But like you said, it's, it's been record breaking uh, for us in, in land. But I'd be curious about Dude Buddy's business because maybe, maybe it's different. I don't know. Scott Bossman. How are things going? How are things, how do things operate while you were away? Yeah, we've had a really good couple of months. Um, and while I was away, uh, my sales guy sold two properties for us. And just like Eric, we acquired more property. Um, uh, all the due diligence and intake was complete. I got home and we bought a lot of property uh, right when I got home. So we continue to buy property. We bought a lot of property in July. Um, and we had quite a number of sales in July. So, uh, yeah, you're making fun of my, it's kind of dark over here, isn't it? I don't <laughs> know, the clouds are rolling in or something. Uh, Eric's making fun of my dark environment. Um, but, but, but yeah, so uh, land continues to be, to be great for us at this time. Um, uh, and, I, you know, it's been fun uh, uh, interacting with uh, the current flight school students here in the last uh, month or two as well. There, there's a lot of successes going on. Uh, in those flight school classes, a lot of people doing deals, and uh, that's been fun to see, fun to help celebrate their successes with them, as I know Scott Todd is doing as well. Yeah, speaking of, today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. Uh, Scott Boston, when is the next flight school? Uh, September 15th. September 15th. So learn how you can go up that mountain of land investing quickly, safely, efficiently with Scott Todd. Learn more, just go to landgeek.com forward slash training. So Tate, how about you? How's, how are things while you were away? How do things operate? How's business? Uh, business is amazing. Business is great. Um, I say it all the time. It's a good time to be a land investor, but it's a really, really good time to be a land investor right now. Uh, we're seeing, I don't want to call it a mass exodus, but we're seeing a lot of people put a, a new found value on empty places, on vacant land, on wide open uh, parcels. And as a result, not only has the demand for raw land uh, gone through the roof, but so has the price. So uh, in addition to selling quite a few properties, we've actually been selling them at a higher price point than ever before because simple economics, right? There is, as Eric pointed out, uh, I wouldn't call it a shortage, but uh, I'm not picking up property as quickly as I was previously. So uh, supply has gone down and demand has gone up. So it's a great time to be a land investor. Um, but not just for me or us on this call. I want to give a shout out to a couple of our coaching students because we're not the only ones having success here. And I think in all honesty, most of our viewers kind of expect Eric to have a good month. They expect Scott Todd to sell a lot of land. And they're curious to know about, you know, the guy who's just getting into the business. And, you know, I got a message from Landon and I'm sure Eric can talk about it a little bit more, but that guy sold, what was it? Five in one week, Eric? It was just. Was it? Yeah, it was something like that. I was going to say in a day, but no, I think it was a week. Five in a week. That blows my numbers for the week out of the water. Um, I mean, that's just amazing. Uh, I've heard from other investors uh, who are just, blowing through everything. So everybody is selling raw land right now. And uh, it's just a really cool uh, community to be a part of, to hear all these people who are, you know, being very fortunate. They're in the right niche for an economic uh, crisis such as COVID. So everybody's having success and uh, that's because they're buying their properties correctly. They're buying them at the right price point. They're following the recipe that Scott, Scott outlines in, uh, in flight school and uh, they're just sticking to the basics, right? Mailing and marketing every day. So it's pretty cool. It's really cool actually. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to see. And, and even when I was on vacation, I'd, I would check email and see on base camp, like Adam Agloff is like, I had a record day or a record week. I'm like, oh my gosh, like it, it, was, it was really gratifying for me um, to, to kind of just witness it all. 
um, while, you know, in, you know, what'd be it? interesting, Mark, is if we took all of our community members sales that took place while you were gone and figured out how much raw land we sold as a community. Uh, Cause what we might learn is you just need to be on vacation more often. You just need to go out of town a lot. I agree. It seems like whenever I'm gone, amazing things happen. I mean, it's, it's really weird, actually. If you, um, if you love us, Mark, you'll stay in Vail. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe that's the call. So, uh, of course, you know, from a, from a mountain biking perspective, I don't know if that's the call for me anymore. But that's a whole other topic that we can discuss, Tate Litchfield. Scott Todd, you didn't take any time off. But how are, how is business? Like business is booming, right? Like uh, like, like everybody said, you know, getting getting lands a little bit more difficult. You got to be a little bit more, um, you know, you got to be a little bit more crafty on how you do it. You got to be a little bit more aggressive aggressive in it. Maybe a little bit more mailing than than the old days, but it's still out there. You just gotta you just gotta keep finding it. And uh, sales, I mean, through the roof. I mean, literally through the roof. It's it just makes no it's 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 literally insane i don't know why like maybe people are just uh changing up i mean home sales are through the roof interest rates are low like you know you know stuff is still going on in the world so it's it's always a good thing and you know we we just called out a lot of the um, a lot of the coaching students who are having good success but look there's a there's a guy who's like blowing up in flight school bill dickens like this guy he started in the July flight school and he, he went at a very cool thing. He implemented one of the things that we talk about in one of our sessions about acquiring land. He used a thing called land arbitrage. He went out there, he's blowing this thing up since July, since he started in July, eight or nine properties he sold in just a matter of weeks. Now he didn't have to go outlay all this capital for it. He used smart, deployment of capital. He's making sales, creating passive income. Great job to him and, and everybody else in flight school that's having great success too in sales. It's there. You just got to go take it. You got to go get it. You got to take action. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, it was kind of cool though. Um, speaking of Bill Dickens, because I know that he, he listened to the podcast with um, the land arb queen, Don Pereza. And and really started going, you know, deeply into the land arbitrage. And then Dawn and Racine, the deal machine, they started their own YouTube channel called Hawaii Babble. And they're just talking about their enthusiasm for land investing. They've, they're having special guests on. Um, it was really cool. Have you guys uh, seen Hawaii Babble? Scott Bossman, you're not in your head. Yeah, I've seen it. I think it's awesome. They've taken the reins to talk about their land business and uh, and the successes they're having. And it gives a unique perspective from people who've been in the business for just a very short period of time, uh, who are having success in a very short period of time. And, you know, it's all about following the recipe, which they talk about. And yeah, it's been been pretty fun to watch those those two talk talk about their experiences. Yeah, and what's crazy is they're both from Hawaii, but they didn't know each other until they got into the land business right. with the, within flight school. So um, kind of crazy how that, that bond happens. So, well, I thought this was a fun topic. I just kind of mentioned, you know, while I was gone in Vail, Colorado, I had the best time and I unplugged. I mean, I think you guys noticed I wasn't on Voxer as much as I normally am. And... Um, you know, I would try to check email once or twice a day and just, you know, so I wasn't totally, totally unplugged, but I was really unplugged and uh, it, it was really nice. But I will say there was, there was a price to unplugging because usually I don't miss you guys that much when I come back because I've talked to you at least a few times while I was away. I really missed you guys. Um <laughs> It, 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 it was like a deep, deep void. It's really nice now to be back. So next July, when I do this again, um, it, it'll, you know, it's, it's almost like if you quit caffeine for three months and then you have that first sip and it's like euphoric. It was like euphoric for me to see you guys again. So um, 
that that part was was nice, even though it was, you know, certainly hard uh, to be away. But um, yeah, it, it's it, it's a it's a magical magical place, and I, I hate to say it, but I think I prefer the river to the the beach now. Um, whitewater kayaking, fly fishing, mountain biking, um, zip lining. It is adventure mecca in Colorado. And the weather is amazing. The people are cool. My only, my only little criticism is, and it's not that little, it's the food. Oh. The food's not so great. It's, it's not like, uh, you know, Vegas or Tampa Bay or uh, San Francisco, LA, New York. It's, it's burgers and fries a lot of time. You know, if they want to make it fancy, it's like, it's like a bison burger. You know what I mean? It's, it's okay. Not, you know, so not, not for foodies. Anyways, um, this is great to come back. And uh, I know Scott Todd has a great tip of the week for COVID-19. Scott, what's, what do you got? I actually have two tips of the week, so it's a bonus one. The first one is this. Look, everybody, do yourself a favor. Like, do something different. Like, has anybody done a Zoom, a Zoom party? Have you guys posted a Zoom party at all? No. No. Everybody's yeah. shaking their head no, right? Well, look, here, here's the deal. You can go out and arrange all your friends and family and get them all together on Zoom, right? Like, we, we're doing it right now in a way. But then take it another step further. Go to this website, goparagon.co, and hire a comedian or hire some entertainers to join your Zoom call. You can get a, a comedian for an hour, like $150, $300, something like that. Like go get, a, go, go get a comedian, bring your buddies or your family or your friends all together on a Zoom call, and like laugh, enjoy it. Like I think they have chefs. They have like uh, DJs. You can do many different things. Have fun with it. Change it up. Uh, you know, treat yourself. That's my first tip of the week. The second tip of the week is this. Look, if you're in this business, you're going to run into accounting issues because it's, it's a complicated business in terms of the accounting side of it. Not that complicated, but it's it, you got to understand what you're dealing with because when you go take your, your stuff to your accountant, and they look at it, they're gonna, be, they're gonna tell you all kinds of wrong advice. So do yourself a favor and get set up correctly. Now, you can go to Investor Ninjas and get a pre recorded accounting for land investors class. No worries, go do that at a minimum. But if you learn best in, in live classes, we have a new live class for accounting for land investors starting on uh, Thursday, August 24th. So if you wanna be a part of that, go learn more at scotttodd.net forward slash accounting and it's actually sorry august 27th not the 24th not awesome. even doubting my own dates awesome and we we can talk about this more boot camp we got virtual our first virtual boot camp coming uh friday august 14th right we do yeah if you guys haven't signed up for that go to landgeek.com forward slash boot camp um that'd be pretty fun so great tips scott todd so are we are we good no, now I'm wrong. I just doubted myself and I went and looked. It's August 20th. I don't even know what day it is. Ooh. August Ooh. 20th. You're almost a week late to your own class. I am going to be a week late to the class. <laughs> That's not going to make for hoppy campers. Eek. Yeah. Eek. All right. Well, uh, I want to thank the listeners and hopefully you're getting value out of these roundtable podcasts. Please subscribe, rate, review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review to support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free the $97 wholetailing course, how to double your money 30 days or less. So please do that. So guys, we haven't done this in a month. We ready to go? One, ready. two, three. Let, Let freedom, freedom bring. bring. I tell you what, not, not so bad for, for being away for a month. Could have been worse. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Scott uh, Bossman and Eric Peterson, did I, did I tell you guys the story that Tate almost had me killed? Yeah, I, I'd like a recap, please. 
<laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, I went mountain biking for the first time. And you go up the gondola and it's, and it's absolutely breathtaking. It's beautiful. Um, that alone was worth it. But I've never been mountain biking. And I vox tape and I'm up on the mountain. And I'm scared. And, you know, my son's all excited. And I'm like, Tate, I'm mountain biking. First thing he says to me, I'm so proud of you. So I'm like, I'm like okay, great. That, that's good. Then, then he says like, hey, speed is your friend. You know, don't be afraid of the speed. So about 10 minutes in, I'm having a great time. I'm loving it. My son's loving it. I see this caution sign and there's like this massive jump. And I thought, oh, my, I just saw my son kind of just quickly go over it. I didn't really watch him. He was kind of leading the way. And I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll go through this. And I'll, I mean, when I saw the size of it, I got scared. And I, and I, I slammed on the brakes. As I hit the bump, I went flying face first. Oh, no. And I'm bloody. I'm in pain. I vox Tate on the top of the mountain. And I vox Scott. I'm showing him pictures of the blood. First thing Tate says is it's a flesh wound. I'm like, okay, great. So I'm probably like in mild shock at this point, but I got to get down the mountain. So I'm bleeding. I'm in pain. I mountain bike down the rest of the mountain. And, uh, and then I like, I was like to my son, I'm like, you, you go. And, uh, but to this day, like I'm still in pain. So, Ouch. you know. But you but loved Tate it. said you're fine, so. Yeah, exactly. Worried. Exactly. So the hey, moral of the story is, if you're ever in a real pain, don't, don't, don't talk to Tate about it. Go to see a doctor. Hey, you could have told him not to use the front brake on the downhill. Listen. I mean, Throw a little I, advice out there for the newbie. Yeah, I told him. I, I just said, send advice. it, man. Send it. You just got to commit and you got to go. And he got nervous. And as a result, he paid the price. Go I'll tell you what, though. There's, chances, there's, right? there's nothing right. like a learning like that, though. You got, the thing is, you have, that's the thing is you have to learn by doing. There's no amount of, you know, instruction that he could have given me to face that fear. And it's really a great business lesson because the best way to learn is by doing it. I made the mistake. I won't make it again. And I certainly, if I do make the mistake again, I'll have body armor on next time. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, you were like, wow, this was fantastic. I can't wait to go again. It was fantastic. I cannot wait to go again. Uh, exactly. My only regret was we didn't do it more yeah. because, you know, I could have had a broken leg or something too. Like that would be even been a better story. <laughs> Then you would have had a story to tell like Sid. Yeah, 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 exactly. I could have come up with a whole new business up on the mountain right. bleeding to death. Right. So it's all good. Um, Eric, you have any good, good stories about uh, the lake? Not about the lake, but I got a, a frustrating story that happened when we got back. And that was that our washing machine flooded. It's on the second floor. And as you know, oh. we moved recently and redid uh, a lot of the house. Well, yes. a bunch of those wood floors are now going to be replaced again. So that's oh. not fun. Oh, man. Yeah. So that happened on, I guess, uh, last week. So we've had fans. It's all noisy downstairs. There's fans blowing constantly. You can't talk to each other. It's, it's ridiculous. So you, you have like serve pro, like those guys who come yeah. in. Yeah. Exactly. I've had that. Yeah. And it's expensive too. I, I'm, I'm sure your homeowners is covering it. Yeah. Yeah. We just got to do the deductible, but actually in this case, we might not because uh, there was a repair done to the washing machine prior to immediately prior to the, um, the flooding. So yeah. Ah, <laughs> ah I smell liability. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, that's been my life the past couple of days. Well, if you're an attorney listening to this podcast, contact Eric. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, if that's, if that's your, your, uh, your specialty, it, it, you know, if they start giving him trouble, that might be a thing. <laughs> For sure. Um, all right. Awesome. Awesome. Tate, you have any good, good stories 
No, I was in the same position as Eric. We came back from, from our vacation and our AC was out in the house and it was like, oh, we can't spend the night here. Good thing the car's not unloaded. <laughs> unloaded. Went over to the my parents' house and spent the night there, but it's like, you got to be kidding me. We just drove however many miles and then no AC in the house. Oh, I feel you, Eric. It's miserable. Yeah. Man. Dude, buddy, do you, do you have any... Uh... What appliance broke for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, knock on wood, no appliance broke, but uh, we have a new refrigerator on order. That's exciting. Very that excited exciting. about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, knock on wood. Uh, we're, we're good with that stuff. So. Wow. Awesome. Scott Todd, any good stories? Um, no, not really. Still having that donut every day? Every day, man. Every day. And I, here's my good story is from when I started this whole diet thing, I'm down 18 pounds, baby. Wearing mediums, wearing larges. 18 pounds, man. That's crazy. Well, I, you know, does the book come out? Uh, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely lost some weight from all the exercise in Colorado. But now I'm gaining it all back because of Tate. And, you know, I can't do any exercise. Like, it, it hurt even, like, even the Peloton guys. Like, I'm, I'm in pain. I don't know. So Can you, can you raise your arm up okay? Mm, it hurts. Oh. Dude, dude, I, th this is better than it was a few Oops. days ago. You're just sore. You might... You'll be all right. Just, just a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to do a shoulder eval. No, my shoulder doesn't hurt. It's like right here. Yeah. I landed. And I think, shoulder, when I, I, I think when I landed, I yelled, damn you, Tate. <laughs> <laughs> Down the mountain. Down the mountain. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. All right. Well, thanks, guys. And uh, we'll see everybody next week.